Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to your daily update on Ethereum. Uh, in this video, we'll just cover all the all of the fundamentals you need to know. We'll cover the technicals the last 24 hours, but also just in general what you can see. And uh, but we'll also talk a little bit about what's going on with Ethereum. If you compare, for example, Bitcoin and Ethereum right now, there's a significant difference. And, and I wanted to discuss some reasons for why that would be and why Ethereum right now could be considered as less bullish than Bitcoin. So let's get right into it. First of all, the fundamentals. The entire crypto market is doing fairly well. It's, it's a bit quiet, maybe, but uh, I expect that to change uh, change soon. Volume is dropping a little bit for Ethereum, but there's, there's no trouble in that. And apart from that, the dollar strength index, so the economic circumstances, the economic fundamentals are still good. The dollar strength index is still dropping down, um, which is great to see. So that's uh, the fundamentals are, are okay, right? And the fundamentals, maybe maybe it's nice to check it out for Ethereum itself. You can see that the total value has been in an uptrend ever since uh, the beginning of the year. Quite a nice uptrend, to be honest. It's, it's gone up by like 15 to 20 percent, and and the rest has just been stable. So Ethereum is is doing is doing fine, all right. But if you compare it to Bitcoin, it's not been performing that well. Bitcoin has been making higher highs all this time and Ethereum is right now back at the same levels as where we were beginning of last week, uh, which I think Bitcoin right here was, well, I'm not sure, but it was lower. Um, so Bitcoin is significantly more bullish than Ethereum right now. And that has, I think, multiple reasons. The first reason is, is that if you compare Bitcoin's price right now with the price historically over the last year, you can actually see that we're around the levels of where we were at around August. And we're nowhere near the levels we were at the end of May or the beginning of June. We were around 30,000 then. If you take a look at Ethereum then over the last year, you will see that right now we're actually at, at around or at least closer to the levels where we were at the beginning of June. Um, and we are also, if you, if you if you see it like here, we're also at the beginning at the levels we were at the beginning of August, but just historically we're a little bit higher compared to over, over the last year than Bitcoin. So this might just be um, that Bitcoin is is recovering some gains on Ethereum. Could very well be. Um, but apart from that, what I think also plays 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 a role is the Shanghai uh, upgrade coming through to Ethereum, which will obviously allow a lot of uh, validators to unstake their Ethereum, potentially causing a lot of selling pressure. I don't think that's going to happen, but the fear because of that uh, could very well uh, uh, cause Ethereum to uh, to go up a little bit less. So that also happened yesterday. If we take a look at the technicals, I expected us to actually stay on top of 1600. We didn't manage to do that. We actually uh, broke through that, found some support at that 50 EMA, uh, but then uh, took took a break retest off of it, which is a, a bearish confirmation, all right? So right now we're, we're back at our support level uh, between 1560 and 1540. I do still expect um, that today we are going to be bullish, that that will break above 1600 again, and at least try to break 1680. Um, my bias is still that we will be able to do that and get towards 1760, but that's kind of a, a risky thing to say um, because, yeah, we still have a lot of resistance levels at 1600, but also this minor one at 1640. Um, and as we just spoke about, Ethereum is a lot less bullish than Bitcoin, for example, is. Um, and I am expect I mean, I am expecting this bullish momentum. If you take a look at the last two Fridays, we've also gotten it. Uh, last two Fridays were, were very, very bullish. This was the first one and this was the second one, as you can see, uh, usually starting in the afternoon. So we'll see if that happens again uh, uh, this afternoon. And otherwise, I think beginning of next week, kind of leading up to the interest rate. Um, historically, we've also been quite bullish. This was also a time before the interest rate. For example, if we expect something bullish, historically, we've been bullish ahead of that. So that's another reason uh, or another cataclysm uh, off of which I think we could go to our price targets at 1680. All right. I think we're going up to 1760. I think we can break above 1680 within the next five days. But as I said, that's a little bit of a risky take. So yeah, if you want to be conservative, just 1680 is the price target. Um, but that's my take on Ethereum for now. So if you do have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.